what are your just general thoughts on the use of drones in this in this war? Drones have immensely evolved um, since the start of the conflict. Basically, people were running around during the invasion of Kiev with their with their own drone and basically going to a unit and say, "Hey, I have a drone. Let me support your your you know your artillery battery. Let me let me support your right, attached right. artillery by <laughs> flying around and, and spotting targets and and giving them GPS coordinates <laughs> of where to shoot at." Um, and, and sending them videos of, of what, you know, is behind the front. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's something that, that really started off and, and kickstarted everyone's ideas of how to use drones in, in, in warfare, in, especially in Ukraine. And that slowly got developed further and further and further, um, until eventually, you know, by the end of, of the engagement around Kiev, um, Ukrainian forces had started to really figure out that, you know, hey, we can basically just attach small grenades to, you know, our Mavics and we're going to be flying over the Russian position looking at them anyway. How about we drop a grenade on them at the same time? Um, That's wild. And there, there was that realization and sort of that learned communal knowledge um, within the Ukrainian armed forces, because frankly, and the one great thing that Ukrainian armed forces has going for them is everyone tends to talk to each other. Um, right. And so if one person learns that, hey, you know, there's a 3D printed file that I have that, you know, can, you can attach it on a drone and use, you know, X, Y, and Z to, to drop a grenade. Um, I'm going to share that with everyone I know, and they're going to share that with everyone they know. And suddenly within a few weeks, everyone is using, you know, everyone's attaching mm -hmm. grenades to their drones and flying them out and dropping them on Russians. And I think that that sort of communal capability was evolved quickly for them. Um, it is one of those, you know, warfare drives invention very quickly. And then on top of that, you saw this extremely sudden, at least, uh, driven by a few different projects, uh, use of FPV uh, loitering munitions. There's one right. fairly famous video from about five years ago um, in, in Ukraine of a, uh, 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 of a Ukrainian FPV drone that was unarmed, um, basically just flying through their trench and annoying them and harassing them. And I think there was kind of a realization a few months ago that, wait a second, we can build a drone that is, you know, a racing drone that's powerful enough to lift, you know, either an RKG heat grenade, which is basically just a really big grenade, um, or a, a basically an RPG warhead um, and go fly it into something and it's going to explode and it's going to really hurt. Um, <laughs> and, you know, there are a few proof of concepts there um, that had been shared on Telegram. And then the Escadrone project was launched and that really got into, you know, churning out, frankly, hundreds of these FPV loitering munitions. And they've been, they've been moving to the front pretty, pretty regularly now. And we're seeing obviously a lot of videos of basically what are, what are in a way almost improvised javelins of, of being able to put a heat warhead into the top of an enemy tank um, or enemy, you know, armored fighting vehicle or enemy position. Um, and, and, I think that's going to continue as drones kind of steadily evolve in this environment. Um, obviously, there have been efforts to down enemy drones with with jamming systems, but mm -hmm. the problem with that is, uh, unfortunately, the inverse square law, which means that you you can't exactly jam the entire front. Um, you 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 don't have enough jammers. Either side doesn't have enough jammers to actually deny the entire front line to drones, and you you'll figure out quickly where there aren't jammers because suddenly you can fly your drone around and, you know, mm -hmm. actually go and drop a grenade on the Russians. Yeah. It's like Swiss cheese, right? It's only a matter of time before they, yeah, someone's going to find a hole. 